darlings welcome to my channel i am your tarot reader srijita here and today's topic is going to be very very specific and exciting so today's topic is if you are someone who wants to get married very 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 soon and your family members even you and your best friends are trying to get that perfect partner for you and you guys are finding the one out there so this is your reading and that is going to tell you that you know when exactly when and how will you meet your future spouse so i want to say something that guys this is reading for the one uh, those of you want to get married in uh, 2022 2023 you know in this 3-4 years 2-3 years this is reading for these guys okay and this is not gender specific you may be a girl or a boy watching for a man or a woman or maybe a lesbian or gay doesn't matter if you're watching for your second marriage or third marriage that is also going to resonate with you and i am um, Please guys subscribe my channel and also like this video if you like my video then share this with your loved ones okay and if you are someone who really don't know that how this uh, pick a card reading or tarot reading works then uh, you know what there is three choices okay so pile one pile two pile three you need to choose any one of them to see your future you know so this is all your intuition so before choosing any pile i would love to tell you that please meditate and ask yourself that okay when will i meet my one when will i meet my the one and only partner when 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 then open your eyes and choose only one because uh, i recommend you to choose only one because if you choose two or more than two then you might confuse yourself okay so please guys choose any one pile so here is three balloons first one is you know very lovey-dovey balloon here you go uh love okay okay so here you go love I hope you can see let me focus it guys okay it's focused now so love okay this is the first balloon pile one there is all about love 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 okay for pile two I got you know this beautiful balloon and it says I love you um, look I love you okay so this is beautiful balloon of course this is pile two okay this is pile two pile one pile two and this is pile three this is all about you know love signs and everything you can see that you know love sign and everything okay so this is pile three okay so pile one pile two pile three i would tell you to choose any one pile to get your specific answer okay then let's go to your reading hello my darling my pile number one those of you choose this beautiful you know love balloon then this is your reading okay so uh, first of all uh, seeing this balloon because it got you know red and white combination then i would love to say that your love is going to be very uh, you know famous or i can say that this is going to be you know a couple that is a kind of a pda couple you know that public display of affection okay because you know in white color the red is very prominent and there is true love because you know i am getting that you know there is two heart really they are into you know one look so i'm getting that you and your future spouse is going to be very 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 in love with each other and i'm also getting so much love so much affection this this is maybe a you know love marriage i'm getting a love marriage vibe so i put this one here okay so that you can see so first i'm going to use a light seer tarot deck okay to see that what is your current situation my pile number one what is your current situation uh and then we will see that what is going to be like you know 
to meet your future spouse and when it is going to happen and of, of course this is only for those who are really you know have set up their mind that yes i want to get married okay this is for them if you are someone who is just only class six class seven or you know in graduation but you're not planning your marriage uh, very soon maybe later in life then this is not reading for you maybe you will see this reading after some time later okay so this is someone who is a uh, really want to get married very 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 soon so let's get into reading so first we will check that what is your current situation and then we will see what is your future spouse you know husband or wife their current situation okay and guys if you don't if you are not my subscriber then you should hit that subscribe button and of course click that bell icon so that you will get my video whenever I upload YouTube will give you a notification okay then let's go and check let me shuffle guys okay so your first card is seven of cups okay can you see the card yes seven of cups i hope you can see that card. okay so this is your current situation so i can see that you are someone you know you have many choices you have many choices you may be a boy or a girl uh, it doesn't matter because tarot is all about energy but you're in current situation you have many many choices maybe you have many uh, girls in your list many boys in your list and you are just very much confused because everyone is unique and everyone is beautiful and you know you like all of them <laughs> but you can't marry all of them right you have to marry only one right so you are right now very confused and you are um in a very self-conflicting uh, energy okay because you have so many choices and you know sometimes in life many choices can make you really really disturb because it's really hard to choose the perfect one because everyone looks the same okay but i'm here seeing you very 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 confused in the current situation because you have many choices than usual you are very popular in your you know community in social media maybe in your neighborhood you are very you know beautiful person or maybe beautiful in the sense that you are very charming many girls or many boys when the opposite sex is really you know attracted towards you you are like that magnet okay i'm also getting that very you know what are energy so maybe you are water sign cancer Pisces, scorpio or maybe you know your zodiac sign or your sunshine moon sign venus position is in very watery sign so it is watery sign scorpio cancer pisces energy okay you are really confused okay that i can surely say that you are confused maybe um i'm getting the advice that your family your friends they are really bringing you lots of lots of lots of plenty of options okay so you are now in a very confused manner that oh my god i have so much option i don't know who is perfect for me that's why you were watching this video wow very good let's check one more card that what is your current situation your current situation, my spirit guys, garden angel, archangel, michael, archangel, a real archangel, Zafkyo, please channel the message to me and tell file number one what is their current situation, okay, okay, I got it, wow, you got queen of cups, I'm telling you guys, you are, you are literally, intuitive person you guys have that sixth sense you guys have that inner voice you guys are very water energy very flow energy pisces cancer scorpio i'm getting so much of water here maybe you are water energy and if you're not water energy if you're fire or some earth or air 
then your future spouse is going to be very watery because you are you are attracting someone who is very flowy who know how to let go who know how to receive things you are in a very receptive mode you know you just surrender to the divine and oh, wait for the divine timing i'm also getting that uh, you will meet your future spouse in divine timing because right now you you have lots of options okay first of all you already confused yourself by having lots of options so right now you are choosing to you know uh to that perfect one for that perfect one uh for the divine timing you are now surrender to the universe that okay universe i surrender i can't choose okay i am so much confused so you have to do something for me and universe please give me the perfect one the unique one that i deserve so right now i'm getting that you are in that kind of a let go energy okay that you are so much confused that you decided to let go and maybe you are someone who is going to tell your parents or tell your best friends or friends that okay guys look i am so much in confused situation you should choose my partner okay because i'm very 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 confused i can't choose anyone because everyone is good and everyone is bad at the same time so i can't choose anyone because i see the same thing in everyone so maybe you are really telling others to choose your partner okay so you are literally giving up you are giving up to the universe that universe i can't choose that because i'm so much confused so guide me but i'm also getting some pisces energy so maybe you are pisces or you are attracting someone who has a strong pisces position okay but very water energy i'm telling you guys you are water sign or your future spouse has strong water sign so actually that is your future spouse's energy which is really really affecting your energy wow i can see that someone you or your future spouse or maybe both of you are very you know very receptive uh, or you guys really pick up another's energy very 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 soon so if someone is uh, very happy around you and you, you get very happy and if anyone is very emotional around you and you get emotional too so you are like a sponge that absorbs energy very easily and you guys just um can't let that energy go so you have to you know give up to the universe surrender to the universe okay now let's check your future spouse's current energy what are they right now into okay so let's check your future spouse's current energy okay you got five of wands so i already told you that you or your future spouse has fire or water maybe you are water sign your future spouse is fire or maybe you are fire sign and your future spouse is water so i'm sensing some kind of steamy relationship because i can see fire here okay so this is five of one so right now your future spouse is doing teamwork okay because i'm sensing that your future spouse is uh, a very good you know team leader they can work in a team they are building something or they are into something that has a unique um unique dress code maybe unique uniform like police a uh, lawyer or something like that that has unique uniform you know that exact same color pant and exact same color shirt or the the basic way to tie their hair okay but I'm, I'm sensing that this is teamwork, okay? And your your spouse is very good at teamwork. So I'm sensing someone, okay? So your future spouse is really into career, okay? Your future spouse is not planning to get married right now. But you are the one who is really trying to get married uh, right now. But your future spouse is not into marriage right now. Maybe your future spouse uh is a uh, single for a long time okay uh, maybe your future spouse's first uh, girlfriend or boyfriend that is you so they don't have any you know that kind of uh, relationship experience or maybe they have they maybe they have been in a relationship but that was so 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 ago you know so 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 many years ago okay 
so five of one this team walking it's career oriented so your future spouse right now they are focusing into career they are not into marriage or they are not looking for someone to get married okay that's good because anyone has to have that vision okay then let's check one more card okay four of pentacles look at that card four of pentacles your future spouse is very extroverted okay they love to travel they love to go to new places and they are very stable in money they are very stable financially they are very stable they got a lot of money and i'm also sensing that they have a huge amount of money that they don't really have to work okay maybe they got some kind of inheritance money uh their grandparents money their father's money their mother's money i'm sensing that kind of vibes and i'm also getting that your future spouse has so much attitude okay uh, because they are someone look they, they are closing their eyes can you see that in the card the girl is closing their eyes so i'm getting your future spouse is someone who is really into um himself or herself they are into introspection and i'm also getting that um okay let me see the card for a minute um okay so your future spouse is someone who really travels a lot for work or maybe they are doing something online okay because i don't know why i can see the earring can you see the earring and you know this symbol is really giving me the vibes of wi-fi or internet it's a connection okay this is also a symbol of fish so pisces energy again but four of pentacles basically says Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and one the Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. So your future spouse got plenty of um, wand energy, that is fire energy, and pentacle energy, that is earth energy. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But let me tell you guys, your future spouse got uh, a very extroverted mind, but they are at the same time really good at set healthy boundaries because they are really you know very guarded very protected person they protect themselves they really don't open up to others very easily and of course they will not open up to you very easily because they are very guarded they are very you know self oriented they are very you know they are protecting their aura their shield they are protecting their heart their money and their love for the perfect one exactly you know I'm getting the in current situation you are really uh, wanting someone to get married and you have plenty of options but you can't decide that who is going to my future spouse you are confusing yourself that's why you are sending to the universe and you are right now listening to your heart listen to your own self and your future spouse right now they are very career oriented they are doing their um, perfect thing to uh, earn money they are into teamwork they are into you know always working 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 their mind is very working they are doing something together they're building something i can see engineer i can see lawyer i can see someone who works in a team maybe they know how to work in a team anything anything you know they may be in any career but you know a career there they has to work in a team teamwork is very important in your husband's or wife's career okay and four of pentacles telling me that your future spouse is very guarded they really don't spend their time spend their money spend their love on you know temporary things no they are very permanent they are very loyal i'm also getting they are very at the same time they are extroverted and introverted uh, people might see them as extroverted but actually they are very introverted they can go outside they can go uh, for a you know long distance trip they can have a really really long and big circle of friends but you know at the same time they are very mysterious they are very guarded they are very protected they don't open up they don't socialize with people and spiritually maybe 
maybe you know officially uh, everybody knows them but emotionally and personally nobody knows them so this is kind of energy i'm getting currently you and your future spouse now let's see that when you are going to meet them okay so let's check when you are going to meet your uh, future spouse time okay when 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 okay when my spirit guys got an angel archangel michael my higher self channeled message to me for pile number one that when they are going to meet their future husband or future wife okay so i will pull four cards from monology oracle deck okay wow i got aquarius energy okay this is of course air sign aquarius libra gemini bring love into the situation so aquarius month okay aquarius month you will be meeting your future spouse i'm also getting that your your future spouse at the time you are going to meet you will be feeling very very loved maybe you are into um self-loving mode or you are loving yourself you just care yourself so much i'm getting so much self-loving vibes maybe when you are literally loving yourself taking care of yourself this is the time when you will see that yes i'm ready for meeting my other half okay so aquarius month is a very important okay so and of course remember that aquarius months are really into january february maybe uh, i'm not sure guys maybe it start from 20th january and it goes till february so maybe in the month of january february is going to be important for you you are going to meet your future spouse or maybe they born into january to february you know so aquarius is very important and next is the leo look at the card look at the card don't let pride get in your way full moon in leo so leo is august okay july august month maybe you and you or your future spouse's birth month is august or july or i'm also getting that don't let pride get in your way that in your relationship there is only one negative point that is ego ego fight you and your future spouse will be having so much of ego fight and you know sometimes you really feel so much pridefulness in yourself that you tend to ignore their point of view you are maybe you and your future spouse both are very powerful both are going to uh, try to take charge so you know you, you should know that yes marriage and relationship goes uh, you know in both ways so if you are dominant sometimes you have to let your happier wifey dominate you sometimes okay so i'm getting that vibes also so okay i'm getting july august i'm getting january february then the capricorn is here okay capricorn your hard work is paying off new moon capricorn capricorn energy is very into you know um this december january so you know december january february july august okay so i'm getting that july august september october november december january february so i'm getting that from this year of course this is uh, we are having july so right now when the video is made so maybe july to the this year 2020 july to the next year or whenever you are watching this video you will meet your future spouse in uh, six to eight months i'm getting the advice that six to eight months okay you had you, your hard work is paying off so you you are really working hard to choose your future spouse or your future spouse is working really hard to establish their career and you know what they are really working hard and universe is going to gift them you okay you are the gift for your future spouse i'm also getting that okay so aquarius capricorn and leo these signs are really coming through 
air sign fire sign and you know and the earth sign okay the four of pentacles and the capricorn is side by side so maybe you know capricorn and you know Taurus Virgo capricorn is very important okay then the card is the energy is gaining momentum can you see the card let it focus guys okay it's focused the energy is gaining momentum so i'm getting that in this relationship the energy right now because they are into their career and you are into finding them so as the time goes they will be also the one who is finding you and then everything falls into places and then the time comes when the energy is gaining momentum okay so the time the time the divine timing i'm sensing that the divine timing is really really very soon and you will meet your future spouse sooner than you think okay i got that i hear that message that angels are telling me you are going to meet your future spouse sooner than you think okay i'm also getting that you will meet your future spouse from six to eight months and the months are very important which months july august uh, january february and december january so december january february and july august these months are really pick up months that may be your birthday their birthday or you know you're going to meet your future spouse in that month okay or maybe leo aquarius or capricorn is their zodiac sign or sunshine moonshine or they have strong strong zodiacs in their chart okay they have strong leo position they have strong aquarius position they have strong capricorn position okay but i'm getting that you know your future spouse is a really 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 workaholic person they love to work okay maybe Mm, you know work is going to be the one who is really competing with you because there I, I can't see any third party situation because your future spouse is very 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 into permanent relationship they are not into game or they are not into play anymore so they want a really beautiful and loving relationship so that's why i'm getting that uh, there is no third party situation there is no one in between your relationship but work okay this is the this is the thing and uh the funny part is that you are going to love the fact that your future spouse really into work because at the same time uh, this is giving you a, um, a really gift of peace because you know that your person is working so they are not going somewhere else okay so okay this is extra message of course so uh, let's check that how will you meet your future spouse okay when i already told you six to eight months from now and the months are july august and december january january february okay now let's check that when will i mean how will you meet your future spouse how will be the process okay how will you meet your future spouse mark angel michael spirit guides my partner and angel channels message to me for file number one that how will they meet their future spouse okay how will they meet what will be the process okay i will pull two cards okay i'm using spirit animal oracle deck okay let's check let's check let's check okay you got wow flamingo spirit look at that the card is beautiful isn't it flamingo spirit embrace in between card number 26 okay so 2 plus 6 is also 8 that is august wow or maybe the date is 26 okay anything else i need one more card okay i think i got it wow so cute look at that water spirit you are never alone card number 42 look card number 42 can you see that card number 42 and you got the water spirit that is you are never alone look can you see that there is two water really in love with each other wow such a beautiful cards okay so let's read okay so how will you meet your a future spouse what will be the process okay first of all i'm getting that you will meet your future spouse 
via someone or someone is there you know someone is someone is there maybe that is a person maybe that is that can be a work that can be something that that via you are meeting someone okay i am getting that maybe your parents are really getting that relationship towards you or your friends or colleague or internet or social media or you have heard uh, of him or her from someone else's mouth or maybe someone else really told you about them and you got curious and just check on internet or uh, check up on someone that hey do you know that guy or hey do you know the girl that he told or she told me about it and this is how you end up meeting because i am sensing that you know this is of course divine planning this is all about into you know divine orders so i'm getting that you will meet your future spouse in a very mysterious in a very magical way okay i'm getting that there is someone you know maybe spirit guides maybe angels they are really really making this relationship uh, true this is re this is really your dream relationship i'm getting that you are really someone who want this person or maybe your person is someone who wants this wants you okay this is both way connection okay i'm also getting that otter spirit is a very soulmate kind of vibes can you see the beautiful two order they are so in love with each other and that is really creating a hardship so i'm getting this is true love this is unconditional love this is really soulmate energy soulmate vibration because flamingo energy is all about soulmate energy this is really really soulmate energy high level soulmate energy and i'm telling you that your future spouse is a very stylish person they got a good test of clothes perfume dresses and jewelries accessories you know they really love to um uh, make themselves beautiful they are into fashion designing clothes they are into you know fashion stuff i'm telling you that your future spouse is going to be someone who knows that they are beautiful who knows that you know they know that they are beautiful and they are attractive and many people um, attracted towards them so i'm getting so much of self-confidence and i'm really going to tell you that your future spouse is really 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 extroverted person okay they're really extroverted but at the same time they know how to cover themselves how to maintain a beautiful distance how to maintain personal life and public life so maybe is someone who is very public but they are also hiding their secrets and their personal life in a very good care okay so nobody ever know that oh my god they got this 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 side that no one knows this is a very diplomatic person i'm also getting your future spouse is very spiritual and you will meet your future spouse in a very mystical way in a very magical way maybe you heard of them or they heard of you from someone else and a time came when you guys just uh, you know occasionally you you guys uh, just um, set up a plan that let's meet that guy that what else oh, we don't have any another plan so let's meet and talk to each other maybe this is this is divine timing in fact at that point of time you are really uh, trusting that divine timing and divine detour so that's why it is very easy for you to go with the flow okay but for them they are very new and they really are someone who doesn't uh, give their time or doesn't give their love to anyone else or anyone temporary so they will be a kind of a you know skeptical mind that what i am doing with this girl or with this boy when i know you know but that with this pile number one your future spouse will think that what i am doing with this person because i want a permanent relationship and and i i don't want to date other people just for uh, sick dating other people so i'm getting this kind of energy and your future spouse is going to be very tall this is also a thing physical feature i got in my mind 
maybe a girl or a boy but they are taller than a general height i mean if they're boy they are taller than general boy's height and if they're girl then they are taller than general girl's height okay and some of you are really short so i'm getting that short and a tall relationship if you're a guy watching for a girl then your wife is going to be shorter than you i mean extremely shorter and if you are a girl one uh, watching this video for a boy then your husband is going to be very taller than you okay i mean the feminine would be um, the feminine uh, but you know oh my god i just get that message that in your relationship if you are the girl who is watching this video you you are having the divine masculine energy you are the divine masculine you got those kind of masculine vibes okay and your future spouses are having you know those divine feminine vibes so your future spouse is someone who got uh, so much of divine feminine energy and you are the one who is really possessing divine masculine energy okay this is the gender this is all about energies so i'm getting that divine feminine will be taller than divine masculine and your future spouse i mean whoever the divine feminine is they got so much spirituality so much into you know um, psychic astrologer palmistry they are into mystical stuff they are into you know very 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 uh into law of attraction into manifestation okay i mean if you are into someone like that then that's good then if your future spouse is not something like that then that is not your future spouse because you will always see your future spouse as a really spiritual mystical being because they believe in those kind of magical things okay or maybe you are the one who is watching this video and you are the divine feminine then your divine masculine will be more 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 into practical life more into you know um, materialistic oriented life they have a good balance that yes i need to have material world and you need to think about spiritual world so i got that in this relationship one is more spiritual and the other one is more material so please take those messages as it resonating with you okay and if this is not resonating with you then please go and check another pile and i got so much a video on my channel you can go and check those videos okay so how will you meet your future spouse you will meet your future spouse via someone maybe you heard about them to your friend or to someone and you just really got excited that okay that is a good one i should check up on him and then you decided to do that okay i'm getting that vibe this is this is the this is the process that uh this is the way you guys made okay you just um have some kind of a little knowledge about them and then you guys decided to meet with each other and then boom the relationship just got on fire okay okay i'm also getting your future spouse is super 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 loyal towards you okay super loyal okay they are very loyal they are very loyal person i'm getting that number 26 number 42 might be important for you 4 plus 2 is 6 and 2 plus 6 is 8 so month of june month of august number 5 number 4 number 7 is very important 457 and i'm also getting that your future spouse is someone who got so much of attitude your future spouse got very 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 good attitude sometimes people may misjudge them or their looks deceive others that other people sometimes see that oh my god they are so much into themselves and they are so much feeling proud about themselves that who they are right now but that is not because your future spouse is really having some kind of boundaries around him or her okay then uh let's check that what is the message from universe for you what you need to hear right now in order to know that how and when will you meet your future spouse okay so i am really using 
universal love connection knot okay universal love connection knot i'm using this deck okay here you will having so much of you know advice that what you should do or what you have to do or your future spouse have to do in order to have this connection okay let's check Pile number one, my angel, ancestor, masters, my garden angel, archangel, Michael, channeled message to me for pile number one for the universal love note connection. Okay. Okay. One card. Two cards. Okay. I got two cards. So the first one is prepare to be astound okay prepare to be astounded prepare to be astounded really telling me that you know you will meet your future spouse suddenly accidentally you were not ready or they were not ready i'm sensing that at the point of time you will meet your future spouse look right now you are really confused you are really wanting to get married but at the point of time you are meeting your future spouse that point of time you are very confused or you are very shy or you are terribly uh, you are not thinking about this relationship okay okay so i'm getting this kind of very very magical vibes let's read what the card has said okay Send them love, wish them peace, see them happy, everyone always forever. And prepare to be astounded, the universe. P.S. Oh man, and will you ever become a big time manifester? What did I tell you guys? Someone is here who is manifesting their love. I'm thinking that I'm getting the vibes that you are the one who is really manifesting their perfect dream partner of course you are manifesting so you will be manifesting them so magically that when they when they are really going to stand in front of you you will be out of your words okay you will be out of your words you will be like damn did i really manifest this person oh my god what should i say what should i do you will be in this kind of oh my god you will be in this kind of you know magically surprised moment okay beautiful okay let's check the next one the card is saying you might not know now but you will whatever i told you oh my god the same message look prepare to be astounded because you are really at the time you're meeting your future spouse you are not really thinking that oh my god i'm really going to meet your future spouse exactly the same message you know in other words that you might not know now uh, but you will okay so something you don't know right now but you will very soon so you will very soon uh, come to know that who is your future spouse so let's read the card guys think of someone very very special to you now feel yourself bursting with love for them now mentally shower drench and soak them in that love now mentally shower drench and soak yourself in my love now feel it always the universe so i'm getting that you know this is a kind of a manifestation technique that universe is really giving you that you know in order to manifest someone you need to think you need to imagine yourself with them you need to imagine yourself that you got them that they got you you are making really good relationship you are having fun you are in love and trust on universe that yes this is going to happen so i'm getting the vibes that in near future very very soon you are really going to manifest this person i'm sorry guys you know of course i'm sorry for the sound because that was bike okay racing bike maybe okay so oh my god racing bike okay maybe angels are telling you that they are coming very soon because you know the bikes are you know uh, the best way to go to anywhere because they are very small they are very tiny they can get into everywhere right so i'm getting that your future spouse is coming very 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 soon and they may be 
a lover of bike or they or they love to drive car or they love speed but i'm getting the vibes that actually right now you are not that confident or you are guessing your intuition or you are right now really doubting that am i doing it perfectly am i really manifesting this person okay and if you are someone who don't know what the word manifestation means because i can heard that someone is thinking what the hell is manifestation so let's go and go to the google and search it that what is manifestation what does it mean and how it works you will get the answer because sometimes you know people do manifestation but don't know that that is called manifestation technique okay um so this is just a term um so back to the reading that you might not know now but you will so exactly if you are someone who is really having dream uh, to get married with someone so i'm getting that yes your dream will come true don't worry about it just pray to the universe just pray to the god pray to whatever you believe in and uh, of course the one is the main thing that before praying to the universe pray to yourself that you are a good person and you deserve this love okay because universe is really going to work through you right so you have to respect yourself self love is very important for this group i'm also getting and you might meet your future spouse at the night time the time i'm getting night okay because here is also kind of a nighty night vibes there is very very much light near some water body okay you will meet your future spouse near some water body maybe there is some kind of pool there is maybe the day you are meeting your future spouse that rainy day or snowing some kind of you know clouds are there you know yellow clouds or something like that something is water is here maybe you are really sweating at that point of time meeting your future spouse um some kind of water body is near and i'm also getting that this relationship is blessed relationship okay so i will check uh i will pull only three cards uh, from my handmade deck okay i will take only three cards from my handmade deck look at that i made these cards i made this channeled message okay isn't it beautiful okay thanks guys okay let's check i will pull three cards that what your future spouse is right now giving you the message uh my spirit guides got an angel archangel michael please channel message through me and tell me what pile number one's future spouse is trying to telling them what is your future spouse trying to tell you what is their soul is telling you okay you got to one you got two you got three okay so let's check um okay excuse me for my bad handwriting because i was channel channeling message so far so you know okay i have many plans about our future life i know we will make a great couple wow such a beautiful person my love i am so blessed to have you as my partner wow i love you baby oh my god so they are very straightforward okay i'm getting that they are very straightforward they are very clear they are very permanent they want to have family with you they are very you know future goal oriented they are they want to have family with you and they are very blessed and they are very gifted to have you in their life and at the same time they are really claiming that they love you okay your future spouse love you a lot okay so this is all i have for you my pile number one my 
love pile okay beautiful love pile i hope you can see that card so guys if you like my video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and also share this video to your loved ones and check what happens to them okay for now stay safe and stay healthy and god goddess bless you bye bye hi my darlings those of you choose this beautiful pile number two which is i love you can you see that so beautiful i love you and i love the design you know i love you so this is your reading but you know from this balloon i got so much of red color then i'm getting this in this relationship with your future spouse there is so much of passion so much sex so much making love making is happening i'm getting so much physical attraction sexual attraction maybe you will start this relationship with a uh, one night stand or maybe you know if this message is doesn't doesn't resonating with you then this is not for you this is for someone else but i'm getting that some kind of sexual attraction is the main thing that you are going to marry this person okay you and your future spouse both of you will going to be super 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 sexually attracted towards each other okay i'm getting so much of physical attraction going on here okay so first of all you are going to check that uh, what is is really your energy right now if you're watching this video what is literally your energy in present time i mean the time you're watching this video and then we'll watch that what is the energy of your future spouse at the present time and we will go through like that okay then let's check okay i'm first using light seer third deck let me shuffle it guys My spirit guides, my garden angel, archangel Michael, my higher self channels message through me and tell me what is there for pile number two's current energy. Okay, God, God is bless you. And if you are not subscriber to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I love to make videos and I will make videos. Okay. And also, if you if this message is resonating with you, then also give it a thumbs up. Okay, so let's check what is the current energy of my pile number two, darlings. Okay, what is the current situation, current energy, pile number two's current energy, pile number two's current energy. Okay wow you got the page of pentacles can you got that card page of pentacles okay okay so i'm getting that okay let me see that card right now my pile number two you are really focusing on your career right now you are focusing on your social image you are really growing your business or you know studying or some of you i'm getting that you are really completing your graduation completing your masters or or maybe you guys are really completing one chapter of your life and entering in that into the new chapter of your life okay this is a really transition point for you because i'm getting that this is very green vibes you know as you can see there is so much greenery behind and you are really balancing because i don't know if you can see that the girl is really standing on a skate so you got so much speed with balance and you got money you got stability you are very young i'm getting that pile number two you guys are very young energy you guys are very extroverted energy i'm also getting that uh taurus virgo capricorn virus maybe your zodiac or your sunshine moon sign or just strong art sign maybe you possess that earthly energy okay so right now you are very stable you are not in a relationship you are maybe i mean if you are in a relationship and if you want to marry this person this is not reading for you this is reading for the singles who are really uh, want to get married to someone very soon so i'm sensing that by pile number two 
you are literally single you got many friends of course you got many friends and many of them already uh, proposed you but in mentally you don't feel that connection okay so right now you are in a very single mode and you are looking for your perfect partner you really want that you know that perfect weird couple i'm getting that you are someone who is very adventurous who is very you know fond of mystical things you are someone who is very uh, childlike you are very innocent you want to do adventurous things bungee jumping skating hiking go to travel and having the full musty of life <laughs> you are some kind of this energy that you are really really you know fun loving fun loving person okay but right now you want to have a really beautiful beautiful stable partnership you are someone who really wants to have a, a stable energy because for you you have to be permanent because you can't get into that kind of one night stand energy you are you we want someone who is perfect for you who will take care of you you will take care of them you, you you want to have some kind of you know best friend kind of relationship so let's check your second card wow wow this is the this is the happiest card in a tarot deck okay the sun look at that the beautiful 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 card look at that can you see that wow the sun card and you know you guys saw that right that i was shuffling so the sun card is really telling me that you are right now in the present situation in a really positive positive high vibration you are very positive you are really trusting your own intuition you are trusting the process you're accepting everything is coming towards you and you are going with the flow you are very grateful you are giving gratitude to the universe you are really healing from past tunes you are really healing your past traumas maybe you have past traumas or past tunes from this life or from past life okay because this is all about your soul energy I'm also getting that you are right now in a very courageous mode, in a very go with the flow mode. You are really uh, gifted. You are you are having so much of you know exciting news every day because sun is the best card to get, and both of the cards in a really sunny weather, and you know balancing weather in a very very flowy energy. Can you see these cards? Okay, these two cards. Look at that look at that this two card that they are into nature they are having fun uh, someone is dancing in the happiness and someone is really skating in a very adventurous way so i'm getting that you are the one who is really really having a good vibration high vibrational energy uh, very early taurus Virgo, capricorn and the same uh, leo position is very strong here the sun is all about leo okay so i'm getting that right now you are trusting in the universe that yes universe will give me the perfect person i am attracting the one because as you can see that the girl is really uh, okay uh, okay now it's focused the girl is really uh, having the connection from the sun look this is the sun and the connection is having to the girl so i mean to the girl means in the image this is you maybe you're a boy but this is you so you are acquiring this this beautiful connection you are accessing this love from universe so uh, a very 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 soon your person the one is coming into your life and you will get married to it okay i'm i'm sensing so much yellow color i'm seeing so much uh, blue color so your uh, solar plexus chakra and your uh, throat chakra is very open you are a very foodie person or you love to eat a tasty food and you are a very good speaker okay so right now you are really trying to you know accept the process you are someone who believe in universe who believe in angels who believe in the process okay so let's check what is the current position of your future spouse what is the current situation of your future spouse so let's check that oh my god you got nine of pentacles look at the beautiful card okay this beautiful this is so positive vibes my pal number two your future spouse is happily bachelor 
<laughs> wow, your future spouse is someone who is really having fun being bachelor, being uh, single because your person is a very fun loving person, very, very hotly. Your future spouse got the same vibration. This is soulmate vibe, okay? Uh, same art energy, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, because you also got Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. So I'm getting that your future spouse is very wealthy. Okay, they got a lot of money. They got a lot of money, I can say that, you know. Whoever you are watching this video, your future spouse got a lot of money. I mean, your future spouse got uh, plenty of money to have a beautiful uh, or going and flowing life without having the tension of poverty. This is the thing that your future spouse will be having a beautiful going and flowing energy and happy family without having a poverty issue. Okay? And Nine of Pentacles is all about that uh, your future spouse's mother or father is really having some kind of inheritance money. And they are very good with money. They are a good investor. They really grow their money by investing it in a good way. Your future spouse is doing some kind of stock marketing, you know, share marketing. Or they are really investing their money into uh, many institutions so that... So that their money can grow more. They are always, uh, you know, ever-growing person. This, your future spouse is someone who is, who loves to grow their money. Who loves, who is very good with money. Your future spouse is a business person. They really work alone. For pile number one, your their future spouse work in a team. But for pile number two, for you guys, I'm getting that your future spouse works alone they are entrepreneur they are having their own business their own things to do okay they are they are their own boss and so much of green color their heart chakra is really open they are very trustworthy person wow my each and every pile are very trustworthy this is very good okay i'm also getting that your future spouse is having very free spirited energy I'm also getting your future spouse is someone who doesn't believe in that kind of religious view blindly. Okay. Uh, so what is the thing that if you are asking your future spouse to do puja in your puja ghar or in your in a temple, then your future spouse might tell you that oh, why universe is out there. Universe is the nature. So if you want to pray to God, you can do it from your home. You can do it uh, while take a bath, while showering, while eating or while doing anything or playing so because universe is your mother god is in you so they got a really broad-minded philosophical view about religions they are not a religious person they are very spiritual person and you are also you are also very spiritual you are also um believer of universe you are not shallow i'm getting that this pile you and your future spouse are having very broader mind but not a shallow mind okay i'm also getting that you and your future spouse both love nature okay so nature lover maybe pet lover i'm also getting cat dog for some of you i'm also getting horse and others i'm getting cow maybe someone is here who is a bird lover okay next card is eight of sword okay so for your future spouse you got eight of sword now this is a really triggering card eight of sword is something that is really having you know mind blockages okay so your future spouse is having some kind of you know you can say your future spouse is having self-sabotaging mindset okay because they really think negative about themselves they are in real life they are very good with money they are very happy they are very animal lover they are very nature lover but to them you know they really think that they are stuck they are in a situation i mean you know the girl is not stuck the girl is free the girl is not the girl you know this is the real one 
and this is the mirror effect that is in mind okay so in mind your future spouse might see that their hand is in you know um, their hand is tied their eyes are closed and there's so much of people who is talking about themselves So, so where was I that, you know, your future spouse, sometimes um, the mind is their main enemy. The mind is their only enemy because at the real life, there is no one in, in his or her life that wants really bad for them. So I'm sensing that your future spouse got some kind of depression problem or they get stressed very easily. Or they really think some kind of negative thing very 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 easily so really that the thing that uh, they really need to change and I know you guys will help them to get rid of this energy because this is really this is really bad that you if your mind is become your main enemy right I want to take a clarification that why the eight of sword is here let's take that okay three of sword oh my god look at that pain okay now i'm getting the advice that right now your future spouse is really you know coming out some kind of coming out from some kind of heartbreak something that really happened that broke their heart maybe maybe you know this is they are look nine of pentacles is here so that can't be any relationship this is not a breakup case i'm sensing eight of sword and three of sword both of the swords card are here so i'm getting that right now they are heartbroken maybe someone in their family really betrayed them or your future spouse is betrayed by their best friend betrayed by someone who is very very trustworthy very very trustable before but they just betray your future spouse so this can be that their business partner betray them this can be that your future spouse in a really really heartbreak moment you know three of swords is really heartbreaking moment or it may be possible that right now in current situation your future spouse just got out from covid or your future spouse was sick or is still sick Con this is continuation that he is sick or your future spouse he or she is sick right now physically so or it may happen that um, some kind of accident or physical heart is here like you know physical damage is here maybe your future spouse really going through this kind of damage okay it may be really physical damage or for some of cases i'm getting that heartbreak some reason i don't know the reason but there is heartbreak okay so this is the current situation of your future spouse now let's jump into that when will you meet your future spouse okay when will you meet your future spouse the timing when will you meet your future spouse okay i'm going to use this monology oracle deck for this let's check okay so i got three cards okay the first one is wow <laughs> guys i shuffled okay the first one is leo so confidence is your key to success new moon in leo so Leo is July August so oh my god July August is coming so 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 for every pile pile number one there is also July and August so I'm getting that you you might meet your future spouse in July or August or this is their birthday or something or their significant date and I'm also getting confidence is your key to success so you need to be confident about your future spouse that yes I'm going to meet my future spouse and i should be confident because your future spouse is someone who really love confident people okay and i'm also getting that your future spouse can have strong leo position or you may have a strong leo position that means strong sun in the chart okay so the thing is your future spouse is surely having a strong leo or this may be your energy because in your energy there was look in your energy there was sun card 
in your energy there was sun card that is literally the leo and here you got the again leo so i'm getting that for uh, my pile number two you guys are leo or uh, your future spouse got a strong leo position okay look sometimes it may be their energy it may be your energy because you know please take those messages uh, that is resonating with you because sometimes the message can be mixed up with each other because after all you and your future spouse are connected to soul okay so confidence is your key to success so the leo season you might meet your future spouse in the leo season or before meeting your future spouse you will having a great confidence level okay oh my god i got the oh my god i shuffled i got to bring love into the situation new moon and aquarius exactly two same cards from pile number one so i'm getting that some of you maybe was attracted to pile number one and pile number two so if you are someone who already watched pile number one thank you so much and if you are not then go and check pile number one maybe some messages from you know when will you meet your future spouse that will be same or the zodiacs will be same so air sign and this is also self-loving and confidence bring love into the situation so you have to be very lovable very acceptable and your future spouse is someone who is who loves to be confident who is very confident in herself or his uh, himself and i'm also getting that aquarius that is uh, january to february so july august january february maybe their birth maybe you or their birth month or the month you will meet them so if you you can check pile number one because when will you meet the cards are same wow july august january february this is going to be really powerful month for all of us exactly the next card is okay so here you go the pisces oh my god balance spirituality and practicality full moon in pisces pisces that is march april so exactly like january february march april i'm i'm seeing a really you know synchronicities so january february march april and pisces energy that is water energy wow very good and you know here is air air vibes that is libra gemini aquarius and there is leo two times and there is also taurus virgo capricorn strong but also pisces time is here so that may be you know pisces season march april or aquarius season january february and uh leo that is july august so this will be the month you know there are many of you watching this video that you might meet your future spouse but i'm also getting that you need to have that love that self-love self-confidence and a really balancing nature to spirituality and practicality and the next card is for advice that a time for healing can you see the color time for healing blasmic moon i'm getting that you know this is a very healing card and before meeting your future spouse someone needs to heal okay someone needs to heal because you know what let me show you that you know you or them are really into this kind of negative energy that is you know you are hurt or they are hurt your future spouse is hurt they are really thinking negative about themselves they are pessimistic they're really into dark energies maybe they are into you know they are very independent and abundant person they are very independent you know your future spouse is very independent very abundant wealthy person they are very happy go lucky people but something happened to them that really make them like this okay this is really current situation something really happened that really makes them like this so that's why they are like you know self-sabotaging energy they are really doubting themselves they are not happy with themselves there is no confidence in themselves so before coming towards you they need to uh, gain that confidence uh, in themselves again and why is that why is her is why is her or his mind is like that because of three of swords something really broke their heart i don't know what is that but something really happened to them like you know that's why the card is here that a time for healing before meeting your future spouse your future spouse needs to heal themselves they need to go to spirituality because they are very practical because nine of pentacles is here but uh spiritually they are not that good so there has to be a spiritual awakening or 
you know spiritual growth before meeting your future spouse because i'm sensing that you my pile number two you guys are very spiritual you guys are very very spiritual but your future spouse is not that spiritual they are very practical okay so there is some kind of balance between spirituality and practicality now until now let's go and jump into the spirit animal deck this deck and this deck will tell you that how will you meet your future spouse when i got the timeline and the zodiacs now tell me when uh, i'm sorry tell me how okay uh my garden angel mark angel michael my higher self please channel the message through me and tell me about pile two how will they meet their future spouse tell me how will they meet their future spouse okay i cut the first card that is wow that is skunk spirit know your worth exactly the same message coming again and again that be confident know your worth know yourself first that who you are and who you really deserve and the next card is turn wisdom into knowledge that is wolf spirit wow beautiful very very spiritual very psychic i'm getting that someone in this relationship is very psychic very spiritual and someone in the relationship is really you know self-doubting mode they are doubting themselves they're doubting their creativity they're doubting their power i'm getting that vibes okay so i'm also getting that how will you meet your future spouse you'll meet your future spouse in divine timing you will meet your future spouse while traveling from one place to another you will meet your future spouse you know it is a very fated meeting i'm thinking that you know before meeting your future spouse you will be like you know really knowledgeable you are giving your knowledge to the other people and you are very much you know self confident you are loving yourself very very much your future spouse now healed their heart healed their wound and they are not thinking anything negative at all they know their worth they know that what they are they are the king or the queen and there is so much you know spiritual awakening is happening so i'm getting that you will meet your future spouse in an ambience when you know just your sixth sense will tell you and your future spouse, both of them, that yes, this is the one. I'm sensing that this is, you know, love at first sight. Yes, because your future spouse now ready to catch your aura. I'm getting that this is love at first sight energy. Okay. You will meet your future spouse and boom, everything just go round and round. This is love at first sight energy. Wow. Please, guys, if you choose pile number two, please let me know and comment down below that if this already happened with you or whenever it, it will be happening, make sure to comment down below, okay? You know, maybe some months later. I'm getting that energy, that very lucky, lucky energy, lucky vibes, lucky energy, very warmth in this relationship, very, very, very strong, strong sexual attraction, strong. Like as soon as he or she laid their eyes on you, you guys know that yes yep i'm in the right place with the right person they're the one that's why there is so much sexual attraction is going on you guys should jump into the relationship and just boom you guys are love making love making money making a beautiful home together in fact your your parents your friends will support you a lot your friends your parents will support you a lot and you will be so 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 happy with this relationship there is so much inner knowing you don't have to talk with each other because you guys know each other so well there is intuition there is you know self-knowing that yes i know what you like yes i i know what you don't like so there is you know telepathy between you two guys um i'm getting this is kind of a twin flame energy there is a kind of a age gap or age gap is very amazingly maybe the girl is the older and the boy is the younger or there is maybe same sex or some kind of weird energy about age uh, or maybe they are exactly same age or maybe you guys are you know two years or three years uh, younger or older but you know the date of your birth is very similar like once is 12 second is also 12 or same month or some kind of weird thing is here or you you born on 12 they born on 21 so mirror numbers something is very very unique okay um, I can also see that your future spouse, if they, they are a boy, they are having their beard, a long beard or a very bushy beard. I can see that. Beautiful. Your hair will be very big or long. I'm getting that beautiful flowery beard.
beautiful energy wow then let's check some okay from this card that what is universe love notes has for you okay okay so the first card is wow sometimes the good is hidden exactly exactly sometimes the good is hidden you know everything the lesson you have in your life that has something good and hidden the card said find the good in what they say or ask it's always there even if they didn't mean it to be sherlock yours the universe clues for what you want are hidden all around you i'm getting the vibes that maybe you are already guessing someone maybe you are already maybe you are already guessing someone as your future husband or future wife so sometimes the good is hidden you are guessing someone that maybe he or she is my future spouse or you are just manifesting someone and this is going to be true for you and you know find the good in what they say or ask it's always there even if they didn't mean for it okay so i'm sensing that in the first meeting maybe they are really not going to be ready to commit to you they are afraid of any commitment but soon after they will understand that yes you guys have a connection so they will commit to you okay okay the next card is you are adored of course they adore you a lot you're so cute the card said the card is saying okay can you see that okay don't be fooled by the players and don't be fooled by yourself there's no one more lovable nor loved than you as and i know everyone precious so i'm saying that you are adored so maybe sometimes you're thinking that i don't know if he's a if he or she is a player she or she is or she is playing with my heart maybe sometimes you get confused by their uh, fear of commitments that you will be thinking that maybe they are really not into me they are just having fun with me i mean you guys are having that feeling that yes we are connected but at the same time having the problem that you know why isn't he or she is committing with me okay but don't worry because universe is guiding you to the perfect person there is no player so you don't have to worry about any player kind of energy okay so we will check some my handmaid's note okay then let's check about that you know i have this handmaid's note okay i already got three so come and cuddle with me i want to spend some lazy time with you exactly they are very romantic they are very lazy and they love cuddle our relationship is evergreen we evaluate each other so well so we grow like a tree exactly this is ever growing and ever evolving relationship so green and so fresh no you should move on my friend i am not yours so this is the word that they will use to avoid you uh for being committed to them because they are afraid of commitment so sometimes they will see that they will say you that no you should move on my friend i'm not yours because they are really scared to commit because you know maybe in past they were like a players but with you they can feel the connection and they, they feel the connection and that's why they are very scared so they don't want to hurt you so they will warn you that you should move on and that is the word <laughs> oh my god your future spouse will say to you so i will take one more card okay okay so many red colors are coming very passionate very sexual energy you really teach me how to love yourself you are great at self loving of course you will teach them that how to love yourself because i'm getting so much self love is here self confidence is here so your future spouse will learn so much self loving tips from you and as soon as you tell them that look you can love yourself and you know if you love yourself then you will know that you need a perfect person to love you even more so this is the thing that really will change your future spouse and will really create this beautiful relationship thank you so much my pile number 2 those of you choose this beautiful i love you balloon if you like my video please don't forget to subscribe my channel and give it a